Hi everyone, it's time again to connect with God with our morning devotional. I'm Pastor Olinto speaking from the city of Macau, southeast of China. Imagine if you could see the spiritual realm. You know, the world we're living in can be divided into two parts, the natural and the supernatural. And there are things happening in the supernatural that definitely would create in us a powerful, a powerful impact, as it is in the natural world. We are surrounded by circumstances, and the problem we face as followers of Jesus Christ, sometimes we let ourselves be carried on by the natural world, affecting the way we think, the way we react, the way we do or carry on living. Come with me. There's a beautiful example here in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. I'm reading verses 16 and 17. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed, O Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. Well, you may know the story. Elijah the prophet was being persecuted by an evil king. And he sent his part of his army to surround the city to capture Elijah. Well, his servant saw what was taking place. He saw the natural world and he was afraid. Well, he has the right to be afraid. I would probably too. But then Elijah gave the man a word of encouragement, which was basically, don't worry, things are under control. But the guy was still looking in, in the natural world. And the message he was getting was, hey, it's bad. We're done. Those soldiers are going to catch us and finish with us. Reality. But then Elijah opened, uh, excuse me, Elijah prayed and asked the Lord, open his eyes, Lord. Showed him, show him what's taking place. And suddenly that servant started looking and seeing the spiritual or the supernatural world or the supernatural realm. And then realized, wow, it is wonderful to see God is in action. And he saw that was what was revealing to him in the spiritual world was bigger and much, much more wonderful than what he was seeing or experiencing in the natural world. What is the lesson here? The lesson is we cannot live by only observing the natural world. We need to have our eyes set in God so that he can show us in our spirit and maybe who knows like the servant with an eye open to see what's going on and then you're going to realize that God is always much much more stronger he is the one who has everything in control even if we don't see it we need to believe it because that's the way it works friends I need to stop but remember this we needed to start seeing the spiritual world, God's world, because then we realize what's really taking place. Don't let yourself be content or offended by what's happening with you in the natural world. Look for God. He has an answer, and He can show you what's really taking place. Well, God bless you. I hope to see you next week. And remember, let's keep with eyes open to see what the Lord has for us. God bless you. See you next week.